Vendors in the Bronx say the Department of Sanitation's frequent enforcement sweeps are threatening their livelihood. A vendor in Parkchester tells CBS2 Shosh Bedrosian the city's broken system is making it nearly impossible to survive. In the blink of an eye, street vendor Miguel Varela watches half his business disappear. His merchandise bagged up and confiscated by the Department of Sanitation last week in yet another enforcement sweep in the Bronx. This is supposed my family. Since December 7th, Varela received four tickets from DSNY, $250 each, for selling without a license on Hugh J. Grant Circle. It's more money than what he makes in two days sometimes. Street vendors in the Bronx say they only operate without licenses because obtaining one is nearly impossible. The license is only dreams. Street Vendor Project says more than 10,000 applicants are on the city's wait list for a license, which has been closed for nearly a decade, and only 853 licenses are available at a time. From Fordham Road, to right here in Parkchester and even as far as Queens. Vendors say they all deal with the exact same issues across the board no matter the location. They say they want to see the system right here in New York City change and adapt to help those who want to work. The system is broken. City Council member Oswald Feliz says vendors offer critical supplies to the community like fruits and vegetables that are difficult to find for cheap on Fordham Road. He supports new legislation that could lift the cap on licenses. Anyone that wants to give back uh, to our city and to our communities should be provided the opportunity. Street Vendor Project says it's time the city recognizes the value street vendors have in lower income communities. Looking at the amount of investment that's going into enforcing these small businesses rather than investment in providing them with access to business licensing, this is really a, a shift that needs to happen. Vendors want the city to know they survive off every dollar they make. Hay que seguir luchando, hay que seguir trabajando. In Parkchester, the Bronx, Shosh Pedrosian, CBS 2 News. And Shosh is our community reporter for the Bronx. If you have any story ideas, please email her at bronxtip at cbs.com.